may look like a mess right now, but we use all this stuff throughout the day. Right now I've got some hot dogs on the little grill. This morning I used this to do eggs and sausage, and of course uh, our coffee, coffee water, you know, that's drinkables. Uh, we've been using our portable shower, it's come in real handy. This is really nice to uh, have our privacy for our porta potty and showering. And the thing about that being black, you know, it does get hot in there, which we have the little window open in the back right now. But when you think about when you're showering, you're showering with lukewarm water out of that. Sometimes it's even kind of cold. So that being warm in there is a plus. And, uh, you know, if you want to cool it down, you can unzip the doors and let it air for a little bit, and it'll cool right on down. There's a vent on the top you can open up. In fact, that's where your water hose comes in through. But if you undo that, all that heat just comes right out of there. But we've been in, enjoying ourselves. We just got back from a pretty long walk. I think Remington's beat. He's laying underneath the truck. He's waiting to go down to the water is what he's doing. You can see his leash there. And after we eat, we're going to head down there and let him play some more. We got our light strung for tonight. Got one there. It's a little one there. There's one right there. I can swing that arm out and it'll put it over here. But it, it's working out great. We are, have had limited sun. I'm getting a little bit of sun right now on my panel. And so far, the, you know, it's keeping this refrigerator going. It's running right now, so it's pulled down some. But I think it'll pick it back up, you know, uh, once it shuts down. So uh, I don't think we'll have any problem having cold food and froze food, uh, especially when I get the second solar panel. I think for this type of camping in partial shade situations, or partial sun situations you need another panel so that'll be here in another couple weeks and then we'll be trying those out but we're fixing to eat us some hot dogs and just go relax by the stream in a little bit and we'll holler at y'all later there's a fish down in here i don't know if i can capture it or not Right there is where I was at. It's waist deep. He's swimming right there. Got this rock. Cool. Ash, Ashley said there's some fish down here, so I'm gonna go walking with the fishes. I don't know what the temperature is. <laughs> oh, this water. Oh goodness, but it is cold. You're crazy. There's a fish. This slip too. This slip too. Y'all, it's really not that warm. This morning I was wearing a jacket and wrapped up in a blanket and in jeans and I was chilly. And now this man is out here in swim trunks walking through the ice cold water. But when you get out in the sun, it's nice. That's a nice little hole there. See how pretty and blue green the water is and I'm not sure if you can see them or not but there's little fish swimming little perches yeah, I think one of them bit me <laughs> I'm probably gonna die from a perch bite yeah well that would be probably historic I'll get a vaccination okay. that's a big fish over by that trunk well we are sitting kind of in the middle of the creek although we're not in the water uh, we're sitting on some rocks and uh, we've got the water in front of us throwing Remington's toy out and he's getting it. Don't seem like the cold bothers him at all. But he's having a blast. He'll sleep good tonight. 
As you can see, there's water flowing behind us. Trying to get a little sun. It's been a while since we've been out in the sun. But we are really enjoying this. The weather's beautiful. And we've got this whole area to ourselves. So we're kind of glad that the other area that I wanted to go to was taken. Because we would have never found this area. And that's kind of the way things are out here. Is there some spots that's not all that? And then if you just keep looking, uh, it seems like persistence eventually pays off and you find one that's pretty nice. And uh, this one, like I said, we pinned it because we'll definitely be back here. And uh, we'll be looking for some other spots too because this is a really big place. So there's always going to be some place that you can pull up and camp. And uh, if you get here late, you may be finding a place that's not all that great. But, you know, just spend a night and then get up the next morning and go find you uh, another spot. But I'm going to get off here. I said uh, we're really enjoying this. I just want to kind of show you what's going on and give you a look at what we're enjoying. So hope you all are having a great weekend too. And we'll chat with you later. I actually found this egg floating down the stream. Not sure what kind of egg it is. Pretty big. About the diameter of a quarter. Texture of regular chicken egg. This is the eggshell that Ashley found. We're going to return it to where it came from. Going down the rest. <laughs> Got a little fire going. Keep some of the bugs away. Good morning YouTube. Sunday morning and we've got our morning coffee going. I always set this next to the pot so it kind of warms all that double walled stainless up and keeps our coffee warmer longer. Today's going to be pack up day. Solar panel did great. Our refrigerator is still at temperature where it's supposed to be. For shade conditions, the second panel is going to be pretty handy. A little bit cloudy this morning. It's beautiful though. And somebody forgot to turn the water faucet off because this water is still running. Isn't it wonderful? We really enjoyed this area. Something got in the back of my truck last night. I had my tennis shoes laid up on my toolbox. And one of them ended up on the ground. I figure it's a raccoon. It was really relaxing sleeping to the sound of this creek all night. Other than the critters and the bugs, we had this area all to ourselves all weekend long. Say good morning, y'all. Good morning. Say morning, Remy. Woo, 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 woo.
There, that's his morning, y'all. We're gonna do a little exploring this morning after we get tore down. But I'm not in no hurry to get tore down. It's one of those things that's gonna happen as it happens. We got a lot of stuff to put back in place, but really don't take that long. Inside the tent, you just uh, get your gear out of it and it'll be down in about 10 minutes. But anyway, our coffee should be boiled here in just a little bit. Uh, the setup worked out great. I really enjoy the setup. We'll be trying to shower out in a little bit, although there's no sun heating that water. It'll be a quick one. This it worked out great for a changing room, the porta potty, and showers. And as you notice, we didn't set the annex room up. We didn't have enough issues with insects that we thought we needed something to get in. And really, that for the time to set it up, which it don't take too long, it just seems like it's better to uh, use it for longer stays. I could have set it up, but I just didn't want to spend the time setting it up, tearing it down when I could spend that time enjoying this place. And we just, the bugs aren't too bad, you know, and by the time it got dark, dark, we was ready for bed. So when we was in the rooftop tent, you know, they didn't bother us. Now there are some little bitty ticks around here. And even with all the off I put on, they were still getting on me and uh, I had to, unlatch two or three but they baby ticks just part of nature that you have to deal with when you're out in stuff like this but anyway we're gonna get some coffee chillax a little bit before we start tearing down <laughs> 